Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Hi guys, uh, today I will solve another math Olympic geometric problem. Now, before starting the problem, uh, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to watch more new challenging questions from this YouTube channel. Question here three squares of area 4, 9, 36 are inscribed in a triangle as in figure. Find the area of the triangles. Firstly, we name the triangles. The name it as A, B, and C. Now the area of triangle will be equal to 1 over 2 base into height. Base multiplied by height. You see here the base length is BC. Now the height will be, this is the height of triangle. And we name it as AH, multiply by AH. Now you see here the length of BC is not given here. Now firstly we find the length BC. Now to find the length BC in AH, before finding these length, we name these intersecting point. You see here the we name it as D, E, F, G, J, K, K, L, M, N, P, Q. Now uh, you see here the length of PC will be equal to BD plus DE plus EP plus PQ plus QC. Now we can write it as here. Here three squares are given M and PQ area of m and pq is equal to length multiplied by length that is equal to 9 now therefore the length will be equal to you take the square root on both sides that is equal to 3 therefore pq length will be equal to 3 now you can write it as 3 and 3 and same here the other squares j l e p suppose we the area of square j l e p bigger square now you can write big square that will be equal to length multiplied by length is equal to 36 find the length you take the square root you get length is equal to 36 square root is 6 therefore you can write e p length is equal to 6 this length is 6 and JL is also 6. Next is the smaller square and the area of smaller square is 4. Therefore, the length of smaller square will be equal to square root of 4. That's equal to 2. Therefore, you can write it DE is equal to 2 and that length will be equal to 2. You can write 2 and 2. Therefore, the total length will be equal to BD plus DE is 2, ED is uh, EP, this is EP, and that is length is equal to 6, and PQ, that length is equal to 3, and QC. Now, uh, to find BD and QC, before finding BD and QC, you see here JL line and FJ are parallel to each other. These are parallel lines and BD is also parallel. And now you can see here AGR, AGR angle. We name it this angle, suppose that we name it as B. And this angle will be equal to JFG because these are corresponding angle. You can see here these parallel lines. Therefore, this transversal line and the angle making between transversal and parallel lines will be same. These are corresponding angle. Now see F, B, D, this angle is also B degree will be same. Now you see here also this uh, A, R is right angle. A, R, J is right angle. And this also is a right angle. And next is F, D, B is also right angle. Now you can see here also this uh, the angle between A, L, R and L and M will be same. Why? Because these are also corresponding angle. We name it as C, C and same here is N, C, Q. This is also equal to C. Now from these uh, 
triangles, we can find the length BD. Now you see here, we take the triangle JGF, we name it as J triangle JGF is similar to triangle FDB, FDB. Now you see here the triangle JGF is similar to triangle FDB because the the angles or two angles of triangle JGF are equal to two angles of this triangle FDB. You see here the angle G is 90, the angle D is also 90. Next is the angle F is B, here is also B. Therefore, when two angles are equal to other triangles, these two triangles will be similar and the corresponding side ratio of these two triangles will be equal. Now, JG over FD equal to GF, you can write it as GF will be equal to DB. Now you see here, here we E J L is 6 and therefore the this remaining length is 2 and that J G will be 4. We can write it as 4. Our F T you see here is 2. Now G F length you see here G F length is 2 and B D length we have to find. Now we can write it as 2 times B D will be equal to 2. Now therefore the B D length will be equal to 1. This length is 1. We can write it as 1 centimeter. Now therefore B D is 1 plus 2 plus 6 plus 3 plus Q C. Now to find Q C we find the length Q C. Now you see here the triangle L M N is similar to triangle NQC triangle NQC because the two angles of triangle LMN are equal to two angles of triangles NQC. Now you see here the angles N equal to angle C, angle M will be equal to angle Q. When two angles of two triangles are equal, these two tri triangles will be similar. And when two triangles will be similar, therefore, take the ratio LM over NQ will be equal to MN over QC. Now you can write it here, LM is 3, NQ is also 3. Now MN, you see here MN is 3 and QC will be equal, write it as QC. Now we can write it as QC will be equal to 3. Now this length is 3. We put the value in this equation. Now this QC is 3. Therefore, the length BC will be equal to BC, sorry, equal to 1 plus 2 plus 6 plus 3 plus 3. That's equal to 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 6, 12, and 2. 14 and 1 for 15. This is the 15 is the total length. Now you have to find the length AH. You can see here AH. To find AH, we name it as AR is, suppose that name is X. And this length JR is 6. Now we can write it as here. The length AH will be equal to X plus 6. Now to find x, you see here we suppose that the length jr is y and the rl length we take as rl length is 6 minus y because jl total length is 6 therefore we can write it 6 minus y. Now to find a ah, we take the triangles relationship between arl and lmn. Now triangles arl and triangle L M N. Now uh, these two triangles are similar because the two angles R and L is equal to trying uh, the angle M and N of other triangles. When you see here, you can see this is the 90 and this 90, and these two angles are corresponding angles. 
Therefore, when two angles of a triangle are equal to other two angles of triangle, the both tri these two triangles will be similar. Now we can write it. Therefore, the corresponding ratio of these two triangles will be equal AR over LM will be equal to RL over MN. Now we can write it RL over MN. AR length you see here is X. LM length is 3. RL length you see here this is the RL and 6 minus y and m and then you can see here is 3 therefore you can write it as 3 3 will be cancelled now x equal to 6 minus y y now uh, you can take another relationship of two similar triangles you see here a r j triangle a r j is similar to triangle J G F J G F. These two triangles are similar. Why? Because the two angles of triangle A R J are equal to two angles of J G F are equal. Then two angles of triangles of equal to other two to two angles of other triangles are equal. Then the both triangles will be similar. Therefore, we can take the corresponding ratio of the triangles will be equal. Now we can write it as AR over JG equal to RJ over GF. RG, RJ over GF. Now AR length, you see here, this length AR is X and JG length, JG length, you see here, is 4. Next is the RJ length. RJ length is Y. And GF length is, you see here is 2. Now, DE and FG length is, now you can write it as 2. Now, that's equal to 2X will be equal to 4Y. Now, X will be equal to 2Y. Now, you see here, these are two equations in terms of X and Y. Now, we solve the simultaneously to get X and Y. You see here, now X will be equal to 2 minus Y is here is 2Y. Here x is 2y, we can write as 2y equal to 6 minus y. Now that's value become 3y will be equal to 6, that y will be equal to 2. Then you substitute the value of y in this equation, you get x equal to 2y means 2 into 2, that's equal to 4. Now therefore, the length of ah will be equal to x plus 6. You see here, the length of h is x plus 6. You can write it 6 plus 4, that's equal to 10. Now, the area of triangle, you see here 1 over 2 BC and BC length is 15. And you see here, AH length. AH length is equal to uh, 10. You see here, this is the 10. AH equal to 10. Now we write the area of triangle ABC. We can write it as 1 over 2 BC into AH. Now you see here BC is 15. AH is height is 10. Therefore, that will be equal to 75 units square is the area of triangle.